there welcome back to my channel so i have a little bit of a different background this is kind of temporary number one because uh, i kind of got sick of my old background you know i had it for years and i just kind of you know i just kind of got bored of it and number two my fiance is building me like a like a different backdrop with you know shelves where i could display my makeup and maybe put some plants on it so this is temporary but you know it's something different i just kind of feel like i needed a change but today's video is very exciting because i am doing an update to my pan that uh face palette project pan so if you're interested in seeing how this palette looks now how much progress we made then just keep on watching Honestly, this background is not ideal because this side of the room is slanted because, you know, the roof is slanted. Behind this are my um, bathroom doors. And over here, I have a freaking socket and it just annoys me. The It annoys me so much. So I have to kind of wiggle around and then I have a freaking light switch over here as well, which is visible so it's kind of annoying please ignore that but um eventually you know it will look a lot different but anyway back to this so this is my lovely nobody's perfect but, but me a multitask highlighter palette and when i open it up this is how the palette looks at the moment so uh, as you probably know from last month i repressed uh, this highlighter because the pan was just massive and i had to repress it so we've hit pan again and also i had enlarged uh, this um, blush so let me talk about this particular shade first and of course i will have pictures so that you can see because i forgot to include them in my last um, video so uh last month i had only repressed it so it looks you know it looked basically you know there was no pan in it but i managed to uh hit pan and since in my last update i used this particular shade 26 times for a total of 67 times throughout this project this is massive um there isn't a lot of product left in this guy and I feel like one or two more months and we will be completely done with this and I'm so so happy this will be like a first highlighter I ever ever used up so I am super super excited um, about that uh, I don't think I will be repressing this again because it's fairly loose so you know um Whenever I swirl my brush in it, you know, product does um, collect in on the brush. So I think it will be fine, you know, even if there's a little bit uh, here on the sides. So I won't be repressing that and I have a feeling a couple of two, maybe months and we will be done with it. And wow, that will be such, such an achievement. And then on to this uh, rose highlighter. Um, I will have a picture at... Uh, I didn't actually take any progress pictures last month for some reason so I will have an insert from the actual video and you saw that I had a pan it wasn't too big but it wasn't very small as well and I definitely enlarged the pan over the last uh, month but the way that I've been using this shade is actually as my transition shade because I don't think it works as a blush I think it's just a little bit too light and not very pigmented so whenever i try to put my uh, blush brush in it it just doesn't really pick up too much product and yeah it just doesn't work like that so i've been using this as a transition shade hence why my prog my actual you know pan increase was is not as significant as it could be so this shade i also used 26 times over the last month for a total of 64 throughout this whole uh, project. I think I will give it one more month and then I will think about repressing it. I'll see, maybe I'll try to use it more as a blush because you know, the blush brush is a lot bigger so you know, it will do more damage. I'll have to see how that's gonna work out because I'm not 100% sure if it is going to work out. Um, 
as I intended to. Uh, if not, I will continue to use it as a transition shade. It, it works that way. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to see a little bit more progress, but unfortunately, um, this is how it looks. Um, for this shade, oh yeah, I've given it probably four months before I finish it, depending on how I use it. But, you know, I'll definitely continue to use it as a transition shade and I will do my best to use it as a blush as well. Um, but yeah, that completes uh, today's video. I am super excited about this. Oh my God. Like, look at this. So, so beautiful. Uh, this two months done, this couple of more months and it will be done as well. And then I can move on to another palette to pan. How exciting is uh, that? Uh, but yeah, that completes uh, today's uh, video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.